exercise your brain and help your students exercise their brain, both at the beginning of class and at the end of class. Try doing warm-ups and cool down. Just like an athlete prepared for competition by warming up, doing sprints, stretching, preparing for an athletic event or an athletic competition. In the same way, students can warm up their brains for what they're about to uh, participate in, the learning that they're about to do. At the end of an athletic event or a competition, athletes often do a cool down where they don't just immediately go from competition into doing nothing, but they cool down um, their body to kind of wrap up the uh, exercise session. In the same way, we can do that academically with our students. And here's an example here for you about how I've done that in the classroom with warm-ups and cool-downs. Um, and this one, particularly about urban development. So a big part of it is getting students to think about their positions on topics like urban growth or urban sprawl. Do you find yourself to be more pro-growth or anti-sprawl? Of course, there's been a little pre-teaching before that warm-up, right? They've learned something in previous uh, previous classes about that topic. Uh, but it gets them kind of in the mode of thinking about and learning about what they're going to learn that day. And then maybe at the end of class, there's something like that cool down down there. In what ways have you learned about urban growth or urban sprawl affecting people in places? And if you'll notice, I'm also connecting it to a, a specific a, a GSE there as well. So uh, oftentimes, a lot of administrators are looking for ways for these bell ringers, right? Things to do at the beginning and the end of classes. Here's an idea. Give it a shot. See how you like it. Test it out.